Hello, in this video I'm going to use Google Sheets to make a microeconomics uh, spreadsheet that shows total cost, average fixed cost, average variable cost, average total cost, and marginal cost. And so here we go. We've been given total product. Total product could be also written as just quantity. You could uh, do output. You could do whatever you want. So I'm just going to uh, those are all the same name. Let's make these centered and bolded and slightly bigger. Okay, so go zero, one, two, and uh, if you highlight all three of those and then drag this down, should recognize there's a pattern. So uh, there you go. Okay, next, uh, total variable cost. So T, V, C, we can abbreviate that like that. We've been given these, so 55, 65, okay, and then total cost, okay, and total fixed cost. Okay, so to get total fixed cost, actually, let's put in another column uh, right here, and let's call this total fixed cost. You don't have that on this particular problem, but that's okay. Um, put this down here. Uh, and then that, that'll make average variable cost a little easier. Okay, so average variable cost, average fixed cost, average total cost, marginal cost. Okay, and you can see there's dashes in all of these. And the reason is, is because um, we don't, when we're, averaging we don't you can't average by zero so the quantity is zero okay so the formulas here for average fixed cost is the fixed cost divided by the quantity the very the average variable cost is the variable cost divided by quantity average total cost is the total cost divided by the quantity and marginal cost is the additional cost of producing each additional unit so we've been told here that the total cost when we don't produce anything as 40. Well, that is the fixed cost. Okay, so when we're essentially shut down, we get a total cost of 40. So we can just copy that all the way down. Okay, so our total cost is total variable cost plus total fixed cost. Okay, and then it's suggesting, do we want to do that? Sure. So we can copy that all the way down. Let's just check it to make sure 110 plus 40 is 150. Okay. Now, to tell Excel, I suppose I didn't uh, say that earlier. I'm sorry, this is not Excel, this is Google Sheets. Um, in Google Sheets, you always want to put an equal sign in front of your, um, your formula, and then that's how to do it. So I just did that plus that, and that worked. Okay. So now I'm going to go equal sign, and I want to go, I click on this, this is 40, and then the divide key, if you don't know, is the slash on your keyboard divided by quantity, okay, so that's right there, and then it notices that I would probably want to copy that down. In case I didn't want to do that, what I could do is just grab this little plus sign, and it'll copy it down for me. Okay, now all of these are going to be in money, so we can actually, actually I think everything's in money, isn't it? I can actually tell it, tell it that we're doing money, so I just clicked on that money sign right there. Okay, and then average variable cost is, um, we didn't calculate variable cost, so, oh, we did, it's been given to us, sorry. It's this, so the total variable cost divided by quantity, okay, and we'll, we'll take their suggestion there. And then average total cost, we just take the total cost and divide it by the quantity. Okay, and then going to take for marginal cost is the additional cost from here to here um, or you can do the additional cost from here to here so from 40 to, to 95 is 55 or from 0 to 55 is 55 so you can do either column if you want so uh, we'll use the total cost column so it's this minus this now technically uh, it is actually divided by the change in quantity so we would also want to do this. Okay, so I divided by the change from zero to one, but 
I don't really need to do that in this problem because we're going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So now I've filled everything in. Um, now there's a couple of rules of things that um, are kind of cool that work out. So if you wanted average total cost, you can actually add average fixed cost to average variable cost. So like see how this will this will work out. I'll just make another column. So another average total cost. So we just take this plus this, and it's going to give me the same numbers here and here. Okay. So if you had that, then you could uh, work backwards there. You can also, if you've been given average total cost, you can multiply it by the quantity. So like um, one or sorry, 35 divided or sorry, multiplied by six will get you the total cost. That would be 210 or 41.25, $41.25 times eight is going to get you uh, that total cost. You can also work uh, backwards there. So that's how to do that in Google Sheets.